So the beauty of this base module, and if you guys are not familiar with it, on different base modules, they sound a little bit different. On the 700, it comes with a different type of drivers and more drivers than on the 500. So if you want the biggest sound, remember the 700 weighs three times heavier than the 500 base module, which it might not mean a lot, but what it means is that it can substantially increase the low end frequency that it's producing. The Bose 700 is coming with a lot of extra features relative to the 500. The Bose base module weighs about 11 pounds versus 30 pounds on the 700. The Bose base module 500 does not include DTS technology, while the 700 does include it. It's a more powerful subwoofer. It has better low frequency extension. It's gonna give you a more immersive sound and it has the glass top here, which gives it a sleek design. Um, secondly, you can see that it kind of has this floating design, but on the back, because right here you can see that it has a port here, and that's all functional. But if you look on the back here, this is where you're gonna be connecting your power. You have your service plug here, it's gonna have a status, and you can wire this in. So that means you can use it with wired sound bars, especially if the sound bar has a base in, or if you wanna use it as wireless, you're gonna be pairing this with a smart Bose smart sound bar. All together. So if you, how do I pair my Bose TV speaker to a Bose base module, let's say even the 3500, the 700, maybe a previous generation? Well, you're gonna be wanting something like this. This is called the Bose module connection cable. And the Bose module connection cable is a standard 15 foot, 4.6 meter cable with 3.5 millimeter connectors. It has a wired connection from your Bose base module compatible Bose soundbar or Bose TV speaker. Now, just to recap, it does not get this loud unless you have this. This actually brings a lot of volume to your audio or cinematic experience. But you're gonna be impressed with the bass here, guys. We turned the bass on a hundred. From both your past and future. That entire exercise is just to show you, if you get the Bose TV speaker, well, you you, you think you're missing out because you're not getting a subwoofer, you're not getting the Atmos, right? You think you're really missing out, but you're not missing out on much because you could just pair it. I know it's using a wire, but you could just pair it with these Bose base modules. That is what ultimately separates it from the Bose Solo 5. The Solo 5 has no HDMI arc. It does not come with the ability to be paired with a Bose base module. So you have more limited options. Just to recap, I'm gonna let everyone listen to a movie trailer now we are paired with our Bose 600. This is a Dolby Atmos enabled soundbar. We are connected via wire, via wire to the Bose base module. Now you can do it through the smart soundbar. Like I'm already paired with it on the smart way, but to just do an accurate comparison with our Bose TV speaker, we're gonna be running it through the wire because that might reduce any uh, lag that we might have. Now, if you wanna low our settings, these are our exact settings that we're gonna test first. 100 center channel, 100 height, zero bass, zero treble. You can see our Bose base module. We have it at 50. We have it at 50. Fear, Prime. There is a darkness coming. We're going to turn on the base. Base. Subwoofer for on max. From both your past and 
future. Uh, yeah. Never faced anything like this. Let them come. I don't know if you guys understand like how powerful and loud this is. Because not only is the sub, not only is the sound bar strong, this adds a total another dimension with additional speakers inside that are just adding a, like way more volume. So I'm gonna turn my bass module off. This is on off. We're gonna turn down our bass back down to a hundred. So right now we are off the bass module. It's the bass module is off and the uh, bass and the treble are on zero. So we have all our settings on neutral. This is the Atman trailer guys. You're an interesting man, Scott Lang. You're an Avenger. You have a daughter. But you've lost a lot of time. You thought you could win. I don't have to win. Here are the stats. around you with pinpoint accuracy. Whether the soundscape sets the mood of a scene, captures the full extent of nature's fury. Wow, you you guys feel the vibration? <laughs> I have this. I have the uh, the base module elevated. That's why it is shaking so hard.
should allow everyone to really understand where we're coming from. I don't, I don't recommend this stuff because I think it's on sale. I recommend this stuff because it's easy to use inside of your own house. And it is just the way that I do it. I don't want to worry about wires. I don't want to worry about pairing. I don't want to worry about all these features that I might never use. What I want to know is, can I customize the sound? Is it easy to set up? Do I just need a wire? Because all I needed to do to connect the Bose TV speaker to my Bose base module is to get a $10 wire from Bose. This is their Bose base module connecting cable. For most people, the Bose is just gonna be the easiest thing to set up. And it sounds really good. And all you gotta do is press up and down on the Bose uh, base, uh, on the Bose music app, and then you'll really be able to customize what it comes to your ears. Because out of the box, it already comes pretty fine tuned. When you, when you try out these audio equipment, you got to know what you're looking for. You can see how earth shattered. My neighbors must be really mad at me right now because even though I'm in my studio, which is pretty well sound isolated, we even have like sound stuff here. This little 600 with the bass Bose bass module, we're able to make a house shattering, realistic, clear, crisp Dolby Atmos experience that you could bring for, to your house. All you need is the base module, be it the 500 or the 700 and one of these sound bars. So check it out. These are the Bose systems.